episode of the Micronesian News Broadcast. Today is Saturday, October 13, and we have a very interesting lineup for today, so please stay tuned. And in our first story, recently Vice President Yosuo George of the FSM went to a visit in the People's Republic of China, and he met Vice Premier Sun Chun Lan of the People's Republic of China in a bilateral meeting before the opening ceremony of the third Silk Road uh, Expo that was, that was held in Dunhuang, Gansu Province. Both leaders expressed their interest into making the Belt, Road, Belt and Road Initiative a reality. This initiative was implemented by President Xi Jinping of China and FSM plans to play a role concerning tourism, trade, into the Pacific. Both also understand the need to deepen cultural ties and that both sides benefit. Vice President George inspected many sites and the visit was an overall success, according to the uh, news outlet. What do you think, Micronesia? FSM and China have had a long friendship for decades and China has helped build many landmarks in our country offers free education to those willing, and some cities have become sister cities with our states. All in the name of progress, right? And in our next story, we would like to say congratulations to all our young athletes who represented Micronesia at the Youth Olympics that was held in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Margie Winter of the FSM came first in the 50 meter freestyle heat with a time of 29.80 seconds. Palau's Royland Akiwo came in third at 31.27 seconds, and the Republic of Marshall Islands' Kayla Hepler came in at 32.81 seconds. Winters didn't pat push through though, because only the top 16 would have the chance to go through. All three are done and are glad to have represented their home islands. What do you think, Micronesia? It's always a great thing to see our youth represent our islands wherever they go, right? Kalaman, kalangan, Komotata, and Sulam to all our athletes. And in our last story. Now, you know, we're used to seeing countries like the United States, China, Japan, Australia, even New Zealand, and etc. making moves into the Micronesian region. But now there is a new player on the block. Russia. During a ceremony in which President Putin of Russia accepted the credentials of many foreign dignitaries, Putin also accepted the credentials for the ambassador from Palau. If you remember, in one of our previous episodes, Russia and Palau signed into effect visa-free waivers which allows free and unhindered travel between the two countries. President Putin expressed his country's thanks and interest in helping Palau with aspects regarding aviation, naval communication, and tourism. Well, you know what I say? I say congratulations to both countries. But what do you think, Micronesia? It's always good to get new allies and friends, but what would that mean for already big-time players in our region, like the United States, Japan, even China? What does that mean for us? One would think we could use all these people's help for our own benefit and growth, but at what cost? Now, here is my sister Alana with the announcements. Hey guys, I'm Alana and these are the announcements. Bombay Public Health is now offering flu vaccines for people three years and older. Check out Public Health and the dispensaries to help keep your kids and yourself healthy. Today, October 13, there was a public jam session at the China FSM Friendship Gym in town today. And there will be an in-depth tax awareness workshop that will also be held at the China FSM Gym later next week. More details to follow. Now, here's Norma with the weather. Hey guys, this is Norman, and this is the weather for tomorrow. 31 degrees Celsius high during the day and 24 degrees Celsius low during the night. With scattered thunderstorms and 50% chance of precipitation and 75% of humidity.